Hey everybody, welcome back to Catholic Mom Hacks. This is Smart Martha here, also known as Tammy Kaiser. And I just finished my workout today. Whew. I did not want to do it, I never do, but I did do it and I do feel so much better that I did. And I tell you, so I thought to myself, oh, what a good Catholic Mom hack. And I'm always telling moms they need to get exercise in. And I struggle with it too, it's hard to do. But the benefits of exercising are tremendous. I mean, you know it makes you feel better. It's better for your health. You know, I'm always happy about losing that extra weight that exercise can do too. But it also relieves a lot of stress. And moms, we all have so much stress. Instead of taking stress out on our spouse or on our kids, you know, if we exercise, that can help us relieve some of our stress. So it's good for our emotions and you know, good for our physical health too. We feel so much better, we feel energized, and we know those endorphins that exercise produces make us happier. And who doesn't want a happy mom? So, I just finished my exercise. So I am out of breath, I'm a little sweaty, a little armpit sweat going on here. But I want to talk about how moms can get exercise into their life. And it doesn't have to be like a workout like I did today, although I do recommend that but there's ways that you can sneak exercise in. So what are some ways that I sneak exercise in? Well, um, when we go to the playground, for instance, and I was just at the playground yesterday, you know, instead of sitting there checking our emails on our phone, if you have that opportunity, some of us have little toddlers, and so we're chasing them around the playground, so that's great. There's your exercise there. You're chasing them and keeping them from falling on their head off of the slides. But those of us who have older kids that are playing and we're sitting on the side of the playground reading our phone, looking at our phone, um, perhaps we could, you know, walk laps around the playground. I've done that before. That's great. You know, if you, if you, especially if you're a little baby, too, you're pushing the stroller around, you know, as long as you keep the kids in view. And also, um, playing tag with your kids on the playground. You will lose your breath. You're running around. You're like, <laughs> what good exercise is that? And besides, you'll be the most popular mom on the playground if you do that too. So when you take your kids to a playground, take your kids out in the backyard, play soccer, you know, pitch the ball to them. Those are ways that you sneak it in while you're, you're, you're being the mom, while you're doing the mom things. Also, um, housework is cleaning too. Sweeping, raking, scrubbing, scrubbing the bathroom floor, scrubbing tubs. All that's good exercise too that we have to do. So, you know, embrace those chores that we have to do and um, be vigorous about it. Get that exercise out of it. So that's ways that I do sneak in exercise because sometimes, like I said, you don't have that big gap of time to get exercise in. Another way to get exercise for moms I think is great are walks. You know, take your kids on walks. That's like a, a big part of their education when they're small is to take them out into the world, take them to the outside, let them see trees and leaves and the sky and all that. You know, and while they're walking and while, while you're walking them, you know, you're getting that exercise too. If you've got the, you know, if you're fortunate enough that you've got a toddler who's in the stroller maybe, maybe sometimes a baby and a toddler in a stroller, and you've got like a six-year-old kid who's on a bike, you know, you can really get a good good walk in there, quick walk, I was trying to keep up with the bicycle. And tell me if this hasn't happened to you before too, where you've got like the, um, what's the four year old perhaps, and he wants to ride his tricycle on the walk with you, right? So you've got the, the toddler, no, more like older, like four year old, on the tricycle, while you're pushing the stroller, and in the stroller you have like a baby or something, and you get halfway through the walk, and of course, <laughs> what the toddler does not want to ride his bike anymore. I can't ride my bike anymore. Or I can't walk any further. You know, we've all been there. So you have to take the, the baby out of the stroller. So you're carrying the baby. You've got to put the big toddler in the stroller trying to push that. And then you have to carry the, the tricycle around too. And so you've got this huge mess and you're walking around. Or even those of us who had to carry babies who aren't happy in the stroller while you're pushing the stroller. So instead of complaining about that, we can think to ourselves, thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity of great exercise, right? Because that was very hard to do and you'll be worn out and sweaty when you get home from doing that. All right, so walks are a great thing. Take the kids on hikes. The other thing I would think is great for moms, I know you can't do this every day, I know I certainly can't, is going to a gym. Ah, the gym workout is great. Now, I don't think you can go every day, but if you can afford it, and there's been times in my life when honestly we could not afford a gym membership, but if you can afford it, go to the gym. 
there you meet other people to exercise with and there's a variety of things there's classes there's exercise equipment and um, the way I think a gym membership can work is first of all you're paying for it so sometimes we pay for something like oh yes I've got to use that so that encourages us to exercise more but um, you could do the when your husband gets home or you have your time of the week where you know husband or older kids stay with the kids and you by yourself get that time to the gym you know get a really good workout in like that kids are at home you're by yourself it's just you or working out and whatever that workout would be um, that's one good way to use a gym membership another way is many gyms have child care you know and if you've got that situation with your kids are old enough I know sometimes with newborns you can't do it I know I've taken um, newborns to classes and let them sit there while I worked out in a class my gym allowed me to do that but if you've got kids at the right ages where they're at the child care place there they're happy there they're playing you get a workout in that's just a really good situation if you can figure out a gym somewhere do it like that you know you have to do it every day of course and most moms we don't have time to do a, a good workout like that every day but maybe two or three times a week if we can fit a good workout in and then have these other ways that we're exercising through the week usually that would be a good enough for us now um sometimes we don't have a gym or we can't get to a gym and we need to work out at home and so i've done that lots of times like today for instance i'm at home I don't like the classes at my gym right now, so I'm home working out, I'm trying to get a workout in, and I just watched a YouTube. I have a TV in front of me now, and I've just finished up a, a nice Zumba workout on YouTube. It was great for me, and so I would encourage you to find out something that you like to do. If you like Pilates, if you like something like P90, where you've got someone really drilling, you know, do that, sit up, do that, sit up, then, um, there's YouTubes for that. There's YouTubes for everything. There's YouTubes for hula dancing. There's YouTubes for ballet dancing. Um, the New York City Ballet Workout, for instance, is on YouTube. And I've done that with my daughter. We've had fun working out together and doing that. So there's lots of options for you at home. There's also apps. You know, there's like Pilates apps that I've used before. And there's apps that count your sit-ups for you and, and, and give you a whole bunch of different workouts that you can do with push-ups and sit-ups and squats and that kind of thing lots of programs available that you can do working out in your home now as a busy mom when do you do this right well you can get up early in the morning and do it um get up say your prayers you know 30 minutes of workout there it doesn't have to be super long either you get right to it get a good 20 minute workout in and boy if you could do that every day what a difference that would make um, also maybe in the evening after dinner time while kids are doing homework and you know you've got your husband and maybe keeping the kids busy and you can squeeze one in then or another popular time for moms is during nap time you don't have to use all the nap time working out because I know you probably have other stuff to do but maybe that first 20 minutes as soon as nap time starts do a 10 minute Bible prayer meditation or something and then do a workout and what I tell you just these little workouts here and there will make you feel so much better now the other last suggestion I have for exercise and getting it in you know besides I said find something that you really like to do and when you get bored with it there's so many other options switch it up but the other thing I suggest is that you find exercise that you can do with somebody else that's like a two-for-one you get time with your friend and that always nourishes us and makes us feel better and then you also get your exercise in so if you had a friend who liked to play tennis, for instance, you could have a tennis date somehow. And I know you've got child care and stuff like that that you have to work out with. Sometimes you have older kids that can watch the kids on the playground. Or you've got your husband who can, you know, watch the kids at home while you have this tennis date with your friend. Or perhaps you and your friend are planning a marathon together. I have lots of friends who do that. I am not one of them. I'm not a runner. But, you know, you, you, you plan those times together that you can can run together you can bike together and so you're getting exercise in but you're being with your friend you're being encouraged and i even know just at the classes that i've taken at the gym like the zumba classes or pilates um i love being with the women there too you know i've struck a friendship with some of those women and so it's just enjoyable being with them and and walks you can always find another mom let's 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 meet play date and start your play date with a walk, for instance, and then end up at the playground. And you could, maybe can still walk while the kids are playing. So, two for one there. Do something with a friend, and you'll get the exercise out of it. So, I hope you've gotten some kind of encouragement. 
I needed something like this, I'm gonna say, go get your exercise in. So here's my mom hack for today. Get that exercise in, it'll make you feel so much better. All right, thank you.